Capricorn, this is Marishi of Ashansha Loka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for the first week of June 2020. Capricorn, this is Alves and Mobilizing Venus. What do you need to hear right now? Your first card is a tower. seems like something is going to come apart okay something is going to shake up your world uh, the world is shaken right now with whatever is going on the pandemic but it seems like things are falling apart okay or you are the one who's going to bring about this tower in your life with the first card as a tower there is going to be a shake-up. If it hasn't happened yet, it's about to. For some of you, at least some of you out there. You're ready to let go of something and move on with your life. This card for me is like packing your bags and moving on with your life. If something is not working out, you're letting it be in the past. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. What else? Capricorn people out there. What else? Your next card is... Okay, there is two cards which wants to come through. So I'm not going to bring it out. But... Mm, two fives. Okay, we're looking at the five wands and the five cups. Some of you might be dealing with an earth sign person. An Aries or a Taurus. It seems like there are so much conflicts between people around you, okay, or up here. You're conflicted by what, whatever is going on, okay. There's so much regrets or disappointments in regards to whatever the situation is. You're putting up with so much as of now. So the tower makes sense. Okay, something is going to come down pretty quick if it hasn't happened yet. What else, please? Capricorn, Capricorn, okay, again. Uh, it seems like there is so much choices that you're lost. Emotionally, you're still pretty much lost with what needs to be done. There is disappointments, okay? You want to walk away. You want to exit. But still, somehow, it seems like you're unsure what needs to be done. How to go about it. You're unsure about this. It affects you so much uh, emotionally. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. See, uh, in this card, the lady is blindfolded. So it's it's like you don't have the answers yet. You, you haven't made that decision yet. Although it, it might be just easy to get out of the situation, it's taking you time. Because you're emotionally invested in the situation. So it's not easy. For me, it's easy to say, yes, pack your bags and just leave. For you, not really. Okay? Uh, what was the other one? Yeah. So much conflicts. What was the other cards which I pulled out? So you conflicted up here as well. What needs to be done? Hmm? The Queen of Cups and something else. Um, Seven of Cups, that's right. So you have so much options, but you just don't know which way to go, which one to pick. Hmm? 
What else? Capricorns are there. The next card is this one. Yes. You're just not willing to let go yet. You're holding on to this tightly. Hmm? It's a Capricornian card. Yes. This is all about, uh, you know, conflicted. When I spoke about conflicts up here, around you, between people, all that, you're conflicted whether you have to hold on to this or you should pack your bags and leave. There is so much going on within. Feels like the volcano will erupt once you had it. Okay, moving on. Capricorn, what else? Next card is a Three of Pentacles. I feel you waiting. Um, how to proceed. Waiting for the right timing. Hmm? How to go about it with the Three of Pentacles. How do I make, uh, you know, make the tower happen. So right now you're just sitting still, just keeping it within and waiting for the right opportunity. Ten of Cups. This might uh, have to do with uh, a family situation or a commitment. Hmm? Some of you might be waiting it out to see whether it will work, work out by itself or not. If, if you try to put in more effort, will the connection still revive by itself? Earlier I spoke about disappointments, conflicts, all that. But here you're trying, trying your best to keep it together. Because you're just not willing to let go yet. Is there still an opportunity where you can still hold on to this? Nurture it. Not let it slip through. What else? Some of you might be dealing with another Capricorn uh, person. Your next card is this one. You're seeking justice, okay? Just one second. Your next card is this one. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. This could be a walk situation as well. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm? You are putting in so much effort into this whole situation. Just trying to keep it together, just trying to make it work. Somehow or the other. Hmm? Yeah. I, I, I see you trying to juggle things out. Trying to balance it out. You want some kind of a justice though. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Okay. But as of now, it seems like there is some kind of a separation. There is some kind of a separation or you feel like you put out in the cold. You desert it. It, it could be one way. You're putting the effort, the other person isn't. Okay? The other person is just carefree. You want to take the chances. Okay? To have a new beginning. To start fresh. Somebody is really putting in so much work, either to make, or you might have previously tried to make it work, now it, it's like, that's it, it's not going anywhere, so you're going to bring about the tower, like, you know, the other person will be like shocked, oh wow, 
I didn't expect you to be done with me. I thought you were trying to make it work. Yeah, because you were. You were and you were waiting to see where it goes. Hmm? Now you might be putting in the effort to bring about the tower. To bring the shake up. It might be your mm, way of starting things over. It's, it's like taking a chance. Maybe this jolt is needed as of now. Okay, to shake them up, literally shake them up by the shoulder to make them uh, wake up, to show them, I am capable of this as well. Don't mess with me. I can do this. I can just, you know, mm, leave you. Yeah? This could be your strategy to make them understand you can leave them. It's like a trailer. That's your trust, uh, strategy to show them a trailer. This can be done too. I am capable of this. Okay. Because right now things are falling apart. Okay, for a point, the connection uh, is disrupted. The foundation is already... Uh, come down it's broken hmm? six of swords and it's not going anywhere six of swords in reverse things have just come to a full stop and you want to shake things up you stressed out as well even going about this okay it's a fool's journey it's impulsive taking a chance taking a leap of faith you have no idea how things will turn out but yet you willing to make that um, leap. Okay, you're willing to take that chance. Risk it. Just to see whether you can still make it work. So that's a strategy. It's, it's a, like a reverse psychology. You want to make them understand this could happen. So better buckle up. But it stresses you out. You're losing your sleep over this whole planning. Because three of pentacles and an eight of pentacles. Somebody is putting their head and soul into something. They're working on it. Tediously. And... I feel like the intention is to have it all. Okay? It will take time, but you want to have it all. You don't want it partly or like partially. You're not okay with it. Hmm? Yes. Now you're action oriented. Knight of Swords, you're going for the kill because you feel like this is required. There is no other way around. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus person. What else please, Capricorn people out there? You focus on this, having that commitment back in your life. When I spoke about you not wanting to let go, you're still holding on to this, even after your focus is on, you know, shaking things up, which will have a huge impact, which will be a shock for the other person, okay? You're working on that. You're literally working very hard on making that happen. What is your focus? The commitment, the contract which you have with the other person, the partnership, okay? Strong Gemini energy. Because right now, within this commitment, you're having so much disappointments, so much regrets. Hmm? 
you want to have this commitment back. You want to have this connection back. And you're working towards it. How can I make this work? What should be done? What else, please? The next card is a chariot. You're taking things in your own hands. You know, you're taking charge to bring things back on track. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian person. Working towards, you know, bringing things back to where it was once upon a time. Yes, in your world. You want things to be right. You want to have some kind of a rebirth. Even with that, um, uh, with that pool card, it's starting over. This talks about, the world card talks about rebirth. Okay? So you want to have this connection. Be focused. Can you hear that? My mom is in the kitchen. Uh, what else? Capricorns out there. What else, please? I get the full card. So it's a new journey, just what I was speaking about. The rebirth. Starting over again. Let me just pause it for a second. Sorry about that. She thought I was done for today. I was just taking a break with the lunch. So she thought... It's over. Anyways, um, so the full card, beginnings, okay, taking the chances. When I spoke about having the strategy, this is, the, this is my only way to reconnect with this person, to make them understand that I am capable of bringing this tower down, okay? It's a fool's move. It's, it's just, it might hit or it might, it can miss as well. It can go both ways. But you're still willing to take that chance. I think that's your only option. Okay? To make them understand that they might lose you. Because hmm? this is the way you're thinking. It's your mentality. You have no intention, okay? This is strange. You have no intention in letting them go. No. You just want to have the power over them. Okay? You still want to hold on to them. But you're doing this a reverse psychology. Letting them realize that they are losing you when you have no intention to actually walk away. Just making them realize so they try harder. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Anyways, Capricorns out there. What else please? At least how the story is coming through. Okay. Mm. you want to align things bring things back into balance okay some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius person you want to align things bring things back to order how it was once upon a time the next card is the wheel of fortune you literally want to turn the wheel to where it was once upon a time. If things have fallen apart, when I spoke about um, the jumpers there, what was it? The four of wands in reverse and uh, six of swords in reverse. I told you it's a full stop now. It's not going anywhere. The foundation has broken down. You want to turn things around. So this is your way of initiating the tower which we see here, the first card is your way of initiating things to go back to where it was before. That's your strategy. Yes. 
you are coming through as a person who is very abundant, who is very content. Okay, the way you're putting yourself out there, you are okay with this. When they see you very chilled out to, you know, um, and uh, you are okay with letting them go, that will, you know, that will give them the jitters. You gotta do something about this. Huh? You're sitting pretty like the Empress. When they realize they are not important in your life anymore, they will try harder. That's your strategy. It's, it's a facade which you're putting through. But you have no intention to let go of them. Okay? It's just a test. It's just your way of playing the fool. When I spoke about hit and miss, it can go either ways. Alright? Okay, what's your last card, Capricorn people out there? So we need one last card for this one. Okay, this one. Two of Swords. You're still in the process of making that decision. How do I go about this? How do I bring that tower down? What needs to be done so that you know, I can fully get their attention. You're still working on making that move. Okay? How do I go about it? You haven't decided yet what is the best strategy. You want to bring the tower down, but you haven't uh, literally figured it out. What exactly needs to be done? Yes? You want to build this foundation back again, the stability back again. When I showed you initially, it was in reverse, along with the six of swords in reverse. Now you want to, uh, you know, build, build it back up. There is one card. And you're going to fight it out. It might seem like a lost battle right now, but you're not giving up. You are not willing to give up yet. You're putting up that fight. Is it worth it? Maybe. It hasn't showed me how it will go. This is the only story. The main focus is the tower. Hmm? They've just been pointing what you're up to. Good luck. Hmm? All right. Let's just clarify what the tower is about and we'll wrap it up. What is this tower here for? Uh, so it seems like you want to succeed, whatever it might take. There is an imbalance in the energy. Okay? One person doesn't have much of a say. They're just, you know, doing it their own way. But they want to succeed whatsoever or whatsoever. Yes, again, we're looking at the Empress. Okay? So this person who has a say, who has a power over this whole situation, they're doing all this. They're bringing down, down the tower so things will go their way. They will succeed. Hmm? Yes. With the Seven of Swords, it's your sneaky move against them. Or at least to bring them back into your life, okay? You, you, it's very sneaky of you. You have your own agendas behind bringing that tower down. Capricorns. Um, Capricorn people are very ambitious. Just don't um, let things go that easily. You know? Because they have put in so much work into it that um, it's just not easy for them to uh, let it slip by. No. 
Okay, let's see. What is this tower about? Wow. Your mind is very scattered right now. Okay? Even when we spoke about the decision, you have made up, the, made up your mind that you want to do something about it, but you haven't figured it out. How do I go about it? So it's so much in your head, it's all scattered. You're confused. Yes. <laughs> if you look at these two cards, both the ladies are blindfolded. Okay? Her hind, um, she is tied up. But it's easy to remove the blindfold and just free herself. She knows, she, once she does, once she does it, she can, you know, release herself freely. The only thing is you need to initiate that. You need to make that decision. Only then can you take charge. If you have so many ideas in your head and you don't choose one, how do you proceed? Yeah? So you need to make that decision. Some of you might be dealing with, yeah, I spoke about it, Gemini or Libra. Okay. Okay, tower, tower. What about this tower, please? Ace of Rhodes. So you will make that choice to have things, you know, you will be guided to, you know, grab onto an opportunity to bring this tower down. Okay. If you are confused, if you're lost, you will eventually uh, be guided, intuitively at least, to have the power back in your hand. To have um, a charge over the situation. To have a hold over the reins or, uh, of this whole situation. To bring it back on track. To bring this whole situation back on track. Hmm. You, you will be guided intuitively or not. You will know what exactly needs to be done. Um, It's a little toxic too, okay? The way you're going to go about it, it's going to be very toxic because um, uh, I get the feeling you will go out of control. Hmm? So you need to think it through. This card for me, sorry, we have the devil and the page of swords. This card for me is very rebellious. But along with the, along with the devil card, it seems like when you have so much power, you know it is up to you. You know, it, it gets into your head. So don't let that happen. Okay? Just think it through. Because otherwise you're going to ax your own foot. You're going to mess it up for yourself if you go overboard. If you have no intention of let, uh, you know, mm, letting them go, then you need to be very cautious about your approach. Okay? Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Some things cannot be taken back. All right? It will always hang on your head like a sword. You said that in this fight we had. So don't let that, you know, happen. Watch your mouth. Very important. Watch your actions. Mostly watch your tongue. Okay. What else please? Tower. This speaks about your strategy, your sneaky energy, all that, okay? Maybe it's required. 
Maybe this is the only way you can save whatever you're trying to save. Because uh, you see there is still a potential to make this work. That is why you help bent towards, um, you know, making the tower happen. Give me one last card for the tower. Page of cups. You see the potential, but uh, there is a sense of being childish. Okay? Childlike energy. And the way you're going to go about it. You're going to be very childish. Your tactics can be childish. You're pulling off a stunt. Okay, we saw the full card as well. Uh, Page of Cups for me is very naive energy, very innocent energy, very childish, childlike energy. So think your strategy through. Okay, very important. Be very cautious because uh, if this, this is very important for you, then you need to watch your moves. Okay? I think I'll stop here. This is Marishi Yomachan Shaloka. Until next week, bye-bye.